proudest day and the proudest time in the, the seat of a rally here. Because that day and that hour and those minutes, I got the butt between my teeth. You know, I really stood up and was counted and said, this is not getting away. I remember when we pulled on our helmets and, and, and Donald says to me, what are we doing? I said, we're going for gold, Barrett. That's all we said. I can still picture that run. That was just the best, best run ever. Welcome along to Crunching Gears, the rally podcast. And what a special we have this time. Um, Connor, we're joined by John Armstrong and Owen Tracy, and news is just breaking today. ERC, John, what can we say? It must be like Christmas has come in March for you. Definitely has, uh, it's like Christmas and every other special occasion I've wrapped up in one. I don't think you could you could beat it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, something that I've been working towards for a long time to have a, a full programme in a a rally two car and to be able to do that with with m sport um is something you know i've always dreamed of to be able to drive for them and uh to be with with owen and the mi rally academy now it's um it's it's you know we've got all the tools in place to to really make the most of it and uh yeah it's going to be a nice challenge and something that we're really looking forward to and John, you're doing this on the back of last year where you took the Rally 3 title in the ERC. So, you know, it's a, it's a really good stepping stone up for you. Definitely. Um, the, some rounds have rotated uh, into the, the WRC and some have come back into the ERC. But, uh, you know, the likes of Estonia I've done before. Um, so a lot of the rallies I do have knowledge on. Uh, some rallies are brand new for everyone, like uh, Hungary is is quite new, and okay, only the local drivers will have some knowledge. But to to go back to the, the point, it's brilliant to be able to continue in the natural progression from the Rally Three, having done the, the ERC last year, to use all that I've learned and uh, now make the step up to to Rally Two with the Fiesta, um, to you know build on everything that that we learned and. I'll have the same engineer as last year with the Rally 3 as well. Um, so it's good, good relationship and foundation to make the most of it. So I think it's a really good championship in terms of the coverage. And, um, you know, we've got the, the all live package or Rally TV, as it's now called. Uh, so it's really good for uh, promotion as well. And, um, you know, we'll be one of the, the front runners all being well as we get into the season. So, um, it's definitely a place where you can make your mark and rally and you know you're going to have eyes on you every weekend so um yeah it's a, a good challenge for us to take part in because even you know ahead of wrc2 you know you're not going to get the same coverage because like with erc you're going to be running at the front of the field you are the main category they can that will as you say get more eyes on onto you you two guys definitely and i think from an M Sports point of view, it's really important to showcase the car in that arena as well because there is uh, so many people around around the world that's going to be tuning in and watching. You know the the top twenty, top thirty Rally Two cars come through each stage, and it is a chance for for me and Owen and the car to be in the spotlight, and that's one of the really attractive points of the European Championship now. Um, so yeah, I I think it'll be um, you know sometimes there'll be uh, probably pressure from that, but I've already had my experience from Sweden last year with the Rally Two car to uh, you know get knowledge of what it feels like to be run first on the road, which was something I done and I've never done before. So um, if that happens this year, then I know what to expect, and uh, you know to. To have that opportunity to to have the opportunity to be one of the first cars on the road in a rally of that uh, stature is is a real privilege and yeah it's a uh, it's just really cool and it's an awesome experience it's something that whenever you're younger watching rallying you always dream to have the opportunity to drive for 
a team like Amsport and to be opening the road of a big rally or be running at the, the front of the field. So uh, for sure, it's uh, it's like dreams come true, but you have to uh, also, you know, stay, keep your feet on the ground and do the hard work. And I think if you look at any any driver nowadays, they're, they're putting in so much work and that's really what uh, our job is outside of, um, you know, enjoying what we get to do. And like Owen, from your point of view, you're going to be pulling on a, a set of M Sport overalls. Like you talk about boyhood dreams, this is this is reality now. Yeah, it's mental. Um, really exciting. Like you know, everyone looks at M Sport, and we've all seen drivers coming up through there. And I suppose looking back on last year, seeing John and Cam in the Rally Three car, it was really cool to see. And now to see them giving the, John the opportunity in the Rally Two car, and I'm obviously delighted that I'm getting to come along in this journey. So. Yeah, it's really, really exciting. I'm um, going to be a big step up, so it's huge, yeah. I know, and like the you know full championship, eight rounds, but also your first time to 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 work with John. So you know, a bit of a learning curve there as well for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I suppose it's going to be a big step up in Hungary. Um, we've done a bit of work together now, just getting used to the notes and um the different system that John uses. So that was good and. We might meet up once or twice before the event just to chat about stuff and then our test day will be very important um, and of course the recce so yeah it'll be a big difference but uh really looking forward to it and then john you mentioned you know your engineers coming across the fact you're continuing to work with m sport you have the confidence there the knowledge of the team and also that experienced engineer who you've already built a relationship it must be a certain level of comfort in that you know that not everything's new for you yeah, definitely. I think it's very important to work with uh, individuals that you build up a relationship with over the years. And um, with M Sport in particular, and M Sport Poland, um, you know, Maciek's Mat been very uh, influential in my career, especially the last two or three years, in giving me advice and uh, supporting me. So, um, uh, you know, He's been really good at, at helping this uh, opportunity come to fruition, and uh, you know to to get the chance then to to have a chat with Malcolm and Rich, and to you know see what everyone's goals were, and try to put something together was uh, what I really wanted to happen. And M Sport is or M Sport built cars have been what my rally career has uh, been built on really you know i've i think every season apart from 2015 i've been in an m sport built rally car uh so yeah it's it's heavily biased and uh i'm uh definitely proud of that too you know it's uh, you can only see what they've done throughout the years with um you know supporting drivers and uh giving them the tools to go all the way to the top of rallying so um from my side uh, i've you know got that in in some degree now i've got an opportunity um and uh yeah it's it's up to us to make the most of it and you know try to learn along the way and keep building upon um everything you know it's obviously a new relationship for me and owen but Owen has the the credentials to you know to to go all the way and for sure um you know to to have this opportunity is brilliant for both of us and uh yeah we're we're looking forward to taking it on and like we spoke before about you know the how good the rally three fiest is and like we've seen what Walt Crichton has done the last two weekends how he has made that progression from the rally three up to rally two like that must give you good heart seeing that like with the the comfort that the world seem to take you know make the step so gracefully and and to be on the pace you know very quickly and very settled and he puts that, a lot of that down to the way he drove the rally three car it's not a huge it's not a huge step up yeah definitely i think rally three is a really it's a brilliant concept um i enjoyed driving the car so much last year uh it's really easy to drive but it gives you the experience required with four wheel drive in terms of um, how you know corner speed, 
traction, how you need to use the, the drive train to, you know, brake into the corner, how you use it to rotate the car in the corner. Um, the only, I, well, I'd say the biggest difference is probably the suspension in terms of the damper travel and um, how that feels with the, there's an element of extra movement in the car, but yeah, William has been doing a fantastic job and, uh, you know, his pace in uh, West Cork and also the first round of the, the British Championship was really encouraging for sure. I think you can see that the Fiesta is, you know, right up there with the rest of the cars now as, as one of the fastest in the class. And, um, you know, I I still have things to, to, to learn, but for sure when you see everything... That uh, that other drivers are being able to achieve. I know once I get everything to get, to sort of gel and everything goes into the the, the proper uh, you know John mode, then <laughs> it should be should be there or thereabouts. But um, the ERC is at very high level as well, so you know it's going to be hard to to fight with those guys but i'm sure once we get uh seat time then we'll be there and that's you know i don't really go rallying to come uh 10 so yeah i'll be trying to do the hard work to analyze where i can improve and you know that's a big part of of rallying nowadays and you know even with with william and um the rest of the ma academy drivers we all talk to each other and you're always thinking outside the box and how you can improve and helping each other as well to, you know, find, if you find something that's been um, helpful for you or uh, as you find an advantage when you're talking to each other, you naturally share what, what you're thinking or something that might help. So um, that's a, a big, a big benefit of, of working together as well. It's, we're all working towards our goals um, together, so it's uh, it, I think it makes us better, stronger. And Owen, you've you've had some experience competing internationally on the Safari Classic and Mexico and Ypres, but I, I suppose really the work you've been doing with the academy for the last couple of years has, has probably helped you really get to this point now, where you're about to take on a an eight round championship. Yeah, absolutely. Like I suppose this is why. Third year now at the academy, um, so it was brilliant. The last two years have really brought me on in what I know about the sport and how it runs. Um, over the first year, you know, I got introduced to the BRC with Johnny, and then last year, um, John Coyne was doing Mexico, and I got to sit in, so that was absolutely brilliant to just get the real feel for how the WRC events run. And John was very accommodating to me on my first event, and. To get through that was brilliant and then we did Finland as well so it was a great mix of experience there and those two rallies together and then to attend other events I did a few tests and recce with Josh and the likes just to see what level they operate at and I suppose that's all built me up to feel more confident going into this year as to how we can tackle it so yeah the academy over the last two years has been brilliant and delighted to be working with them again for third year. And like Oh, and John says, you know, about the hard work has to go on, you know, and it has to be done before the event. That's something that you thrive on as well, too. Like, you know, this is all part of your learning over the last two years. It's, it's not what happens on the weekend of the rally. It's the preparation that goes in beforehand. Yeah, I suppose with rallying, it's all about being feeling in control on the weekend. And that's all done before the event. Just having everything that you know you can have ready and have that in your control so that's really been what we've learned especially working with the other co-drivers was event preparation and how to be ready when you get there to know exactly what you're doing where you're going and yeah that's that's the hardest part really is to put in that preparation because you're going to somewhere that you haven't visited before so yeah, I always thought Conor Mohan put a, you know we spoke to him a few times last year and he says I'm up some up you know, no matter where you are, whether you're in Monaghan or, you know, uh, Norway or whatever, a map's a map, you, you, you read your map, you get your bearings and, you, you know, don't get overawed by the whole thing, I suppose. Yeah, he's dead right. It's like before 
a local rally or a night now, if you're going to look at the map, look at the area, see where you could be going. And it's the same going out to these events. You try and learn where each stage roughly is, know the roads, so you know where you're heading. And yeah, a map is a map then once you're there and you have a general idea. And like John, for you, you need, you know, listen to Owen there, you know that the, the devotion, the dedication there, you need somebody that's going to be on the same wavelength as you, that's going to be given it 110% as well. Yeah, that's totally what, what you need in a crew. Um, you, you both need to want it as, as much as each other and and the hard work, you know, there was a lot of hours put into preparation before the rally uh, when you're on the event, you got a long recce together. So, um, yeah, it's important to build up the relationship and to, you know, also, you know, show compassion with each other too, to give, uh, you know, feedback on areas that maybe can be slightly different or improved, but it's, you know, structured feedback. Um, you have to have an understanding of, of each other's, uh, responsibilities and challenges with each role and uh, yeah I think it's just being honest with each other through times to you know if you can improve from either side then and it ends ends up in a better uh, stage time better rally than it's worth doing um, I think that's something that you know so important with rallying is to have the passion to have people in the, the team that, that want to to win as much as you do and um you know even going back to my engineer pancho from from Amsterdam, poland uh you know he's as hungry maybe even hungry or hungrier sometimes to win <laughs> it's uh it's, it's quite quite nice to work with you know like-minded people so yeah and like i said owen has the credentials mm. you know he's he's been learning um from from the best and the business he's got his his uh, experience on WRC rally. He's been working with with Josh and through the academy. Um, so yeah, it's going to still be a learning curve, but uh, I've got experience to help out too where where needed, and there'll be people uh, around us to to make it pretty easy. I think, and there's always going to be a period of getting used to each other. But you know, in my experience, that's like the first day of the first rally and once you get that over you, you're grand then. I think everything sort of just slots into place. So, no, it should be really good. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a long season too. And, you know, we've, we've got to just bet ourselves in and, uh, you know, just try to do the best we, best job we can and keep improving as the season goes on. Yeah, because like, this is a, a mutually beneficial arrangement. Like, you will be able to bring... You know your level to the MA Academy as well too. You will bring your experience there as well too. This is not just it's not a one sided affair. This is you know it work both ways. Yeah, definitely. I think that's something that you do see with the um, MA Academy is that you know the likes of uh, William, Josh, and Eamon, they're able to give their knowledge to the the younger members, the the drivers that are coming up through the ranks at national level going into maybe European level. So it is, it is very important to share knowledge to try and help each other towards our goals. And, um, you know, as I was saying, even me and William would talk a lot. Um, I worked a bit with, with Eamon at the start of the year. And now we talk about various points on setup and uh, approaches to rally. And um, I was even, you know, giving Eamon recce videos that I have from 2022 and 21 from Croatia. So it's just being able to share as much as you can and to try and help each other. But for sure, um, trying to work with more some of the more junior uh, members to, you know, speed up their, their learning, especially as they go to international level and the type, type of things that they need to look out for on you know, the recce and how to prepare for the events, what kind of things they need to be keeping track of. And um, I just think it's, you know, it's so important that uh, you, you try to help each other. And, um, you know, it's still quite quite early in uh, the, the academy, you know, in terms of from 
from where they started, but already have a world champion. And, uh, you know, I think as the years goes on, it'll only get stronger and stronger. And I, sorry, go ahead, Colin. So I was, I was just going to say to Owen there, you know, John's mentioned, you know, that sharing of knowledge. Like for you, it must be comforting to know you have access to Paul Nagel, to Aaron Johnson, to Fuzzy, you know, if you need advice or guidance or a bit of support. Yeah, this is it. Uh, half of the struggle is the network. And that was one of the great things that I got to know all those people across last year and the year before. And even like Connor there, he's got the experience now that he's a man I can pick up the phone to and ring and as you say Paul Fuzzy Aaron they're all very helpful with any questions you have so it is brilliant to have all those people who are there to offer their experience and like for you then to be able to feed that information out as well too like I'm sure you're got to a level now that there's guys contacting you that starting out and you know and their tentative steps and you're able to help them now as well yeah this is it it's it's a it's a two way street. Like whatever you can help, and that's the great thing about rallying is everyone's out to help each other, and we all have we're all competitors, but we all have the same goal really, and it's all about helping everyone and bring each other along. So yeah, it's it's great to be in a position as well to give some help if if anyone asks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, John, last week we spoke to Matt Edwards, and they were saying about you know at the start line, you know bef- between stages in West Cork, like they were ribbing each other, like and absolutely you know, and the crack was being ninety, but you know minute that then the, you know there, there's a, a routine they go through before they start at the stage, all that changes, it's all focus, like there's very few sports that you can go from up here to the you know to the absolute one hundred and ten percent concentration to out and ribbing your mates. I think that's yeah, that's what makes the, the sport. Um, it is very sociable. Whenever you're uh, between the stages, having a chat, getting prepared to go in, and yeah, you're just trying to have a a bit of banter. Um, okay, at uh, ERC and WRC, sometimes that can be a bit a bit lost, which is a shame. But um, yeah, sometimes you're trying to keep information from each other at that point. But uh, no, like. As long as you you make friends and you usually do at each rally, yeah, you'll have a bit of crack. But it is crazy how you go from from that to you know going into the stage then and, and doing something as extreme as, as what we do. But uh, it's just some it's something that everyone loves. It's a passion that we all share when we're getting ready for for stage, and you know it's um it's just good to have fun as you go along. I think especially when you're rallying abroad you're seeing parts of the world you would probably never ever ever go to um like you're not going to go there on a holiday you're probably never going to pass through there so it is quite special you just have to take it in sometimes and um yeah just uh enjoy it but to try to do the best you can and um make some memories yeah and like going for yourself too like not only are you doing the erc you're doing the American Championship then with John as well. Yeah, so that's going to be another great experience. Uh, really looking forward to it and starts the week after Hungary. So just quick touch base at home and then head out there. So really excited for that. Um, going to be, as John said, see some places that I definitely never even consider visiting because you wouldn't have heard of them only for rallying. So yeah, that's going to be brilliant. And Saw John and Josh had a great result there two weeks ago, so be exciting now to build on from that. And do you, you know? Do you still get butterflies even just looking at the calendar, thinking I'm going to you know to these events? You know, is it still like how how did this come about so quickly? <laughs> yeah, I think it's always the way you you're stuck in the work of it, and then you look back and you realise where you're going. You're like, wow, geez, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> but it's. It's the greatest thing about it too, yeah. The excitement every time you're planning for an event. So, and like Owen, you know, you're you're gonna build up a wealth of knowledge. You know, as John said earlier, like we see the ERC events changing with WRC events and back and forward. And obviously, you know, we know they're they're looking to to have an event in the states as well as part of the WRC. So, you know, for for the years coming, you, you really are building up some great knowledge this year. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all about having that familiarity with the different types of 
events and how they run in different countries. And that way, if you're ever back, you know exactly what you might expect or what is the norm over there. Even like the safari last year, I'd be completely phased going out there if I hadn't the experience that I just had. So knowing what to expect in a country like that where it's completely different is a great thing to have. And the same with Mexico last year, a complete different way of operating. So it's good to have that. And yeah, it really puts you at ease when you start to build up uh, kind of knowledge of the different countries. And yeah. And I know, and obviously the, the safari rallies on this weekend, will you be looking at it with a different perspective? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even paying more attention to the recce where they're all getting stuck and <laughs> realizing that it's <laughs> it's definitely a difficult challenge. And I think it's going to be a very interesting event too to see how they deal with the weather. So, yeah. And sure, them boys have a handy day of four wheel drive. You had that luxury last <laughs> November. <laughs> <laughs> And then John was well, supposed to start wrapping up, but like, is it you know even now like you're looking down the barrel of a and the season now in an M Sport car, your you know your boyhood dream come true, you know that young guy that was going doing all track not that long ago suddenly you know does it still compute that you know how far you come in such a short time really? Um uh, yeah, I mean it, it does feel like a. I've always had uh, just a drive, a, you know, a deep drive to never really give up on, probably giving up on the dream until I'm too too old to, to do it, if you know what I mean. So I've always just been working away, trying to put together, um, you know, seasons and, you know, junior WRC years that we went through. And uh, then ERC last year was, was brilliant to, get more experience but um for sure it's always been a dream to, to to have an opportunity like this so to have it is amazing um and yeah it's uh something that like i said if you think about it too long you can probably get distracted so it's just the uh, you know business as usual try to prepare now but um for sure really just so happy to to be able to get the opportunity to you know have a full full year in a rally two car i've never really done um you know consecutive events in one so even that's a big advantage to bring learnings from one rally to the next uh it should be really nice so no just very very happy um happier than than usual that's for sure so yeah you can't complain uh, and I suppose before we do finish up, there should be one man we should thank for making this all happen too, as Mr. Coyne, like what he has done for uh, over the last few years in rallying, uh, uh, you know, it's never going to be equal to game. Yeah, 100%. As um, as John said in, in the press release that, you know, he's been helping me in the background uh, since 2020. So the, the amount of work that he puts into the rallying um you know helping drivers what what we see with the mi rally academy is is amazing you know it's you just just you don't see that anywhere else in the, in the world really what what john's doing so yeah it's it's brilliant it's given me you know one the the chance to to make this opportunity with m sport come to fruition um and yeah we're just looking to to make the most of it and um yeah, fair play to John. Like I said, there's there's so many things that he's doing in the background that people probably don't see as well. So it's, he's just, uh, you know, he loves the sport as, as much as we do. And um, yeah, it's great to see. So thanks to John and Owen there. Uh, what can we say, Connor? Absolutely fantastic news. And we've long beat the drum about how good John is and great to see Owen getting the opportunity now as well. Oh, look, fantastic for the two lads. I'm absolutely delighted for them. And, you know, it, it, it's fantastic. You know, it, it's just John's able to build on what he did in the ERC last year, stepping up from the Rally 3 to the Rally 2 car. The same as we've seen, you know, William do it as well uh, in the from the JWRC into to WRC 2. So it's just, it's incredible for the two lads. And I really can't wait now. First round in Hungary in, in what he got 15th of April. Yeah. You know, we've said it before and we'll say it again, no doubt. The MI Rally Academy, it is like, this is, last year was world class. This is beyond world class now. This is like, 
you know, this is set a standard that's never been seen before. Oh, look, it's incredible that, you know, we, we've two top flight campaigns running, you know, we, we, with Josh and with William in WRC2 and now with John, with Owen in, uh, what do you call it, the, the ERC. It's it's incredible, it really is. Yeah, and if you think about it, like the M Sport, one of the works teams is running two of our guys in one WRC2 and the other in the ERC and Talk Sport, who are the kind of the blessed team from Skoda, like another one of our guys in that too, like so. Jeez, this is like, <laughs> the, you know, this has to be a golden era we're living in now. And, and not forgetting Aaron, here. who's sitting Aaron, in the yeah. Harris, you know, yeah. as well. So, like, it really is incredible, that, you know, where we're at. I think I've used that word now four or five uh, times. Yeah, but it, it, there's, there's, we're running out of superlatives, but like, it, it is fantastic. It really is. And it's been an absolute pleasure for us to hear the stories and, and be able to tell these stories as well. But that's it. You know, we're able to, to share it and pass it on. And, and you know, like, again, all of the lads and, and the, you know, we, we've spoken to, you know, from William and Liam and Owen there and John and Aaron, like they're they're just really nice lads. Plenty give us their time. And it's great to be able then to for us to, to pass it on and let other people hear what's going on behind the scenes. That's for sure. And then, you know, the guys behind the scenes have been very accommodating and making this all happen for us as well, too. So, you know, we need to put that on the record, too. We need to thank them, you know, like Sean McHugh and like John Coyne and a host of others there. And Andy Walsh, another man that has made all these things happen for us as well, too. That's it. You know, they've kept us in the loop of what's going on and, you know, they've been open with, with, with what's happening and what's coming up and what the plans are. So it's allowed us to coordinate, you know, so that, you know, we we're we're spreading the, the news with their with their benefit and with their help. That's for sure. So that's the end of that episode. So once again, thank you very much for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, and if you can rate the podcast, it makes a huge difference. So until the next time, take care, speak soon, and bye. <laughs>